as both said, there's been some great tries scored, but particularly on players shifting direction just on the pass. We'll have a look at a couple. Mark Cueto's try against uh, the Saints. As you see, the ball comes out from Cipriani, changes his angle really late and scores. It's much easier to see from behind. Watch how his hips change direction. Looks like he's facing out. Hips change, cuts the line very late. Luther Burrell missing the tackle. Really good finish from the old man. Very similar try for Billy. 12 trees, actually, for Gloucester against Saints. Same defender, quick tap penalty. Watch his hips, he just slides on the outside. Burrell doesn't get near to him. And in he goes for the try. This is another angle again. Again, look, he goes short, turns his shoulders, turns his hips, and lets the ball do the work. A really nice piece of play. Now, Freddie, you'd be the guy distributing that ball. What are you looking for from your runner? Um, just the communication, really. Of course, I'm going to try and get across, across the line. If you look there, both tens are in motion, so a defender has got to try and defend the ten first, whoever's got the ball. Um, and then once that's happened, you were looking at the outside guy, the outside defender, in that case, Lufa Burrell, yeah. and you're looking at his eyes. Is he looking out? Is he looking in? Where's his hips? And then you've just got to try and, uh, okay, and well read let's, it. Let's put those, pictures, that, those words into pictures. So let's go and we'll sort of demo it. We've got our guys here in there. In uh, we've got our guys here in their shirts. Uh, if you guys, you're all forwards to take it. So if you go down in the rook, we've got a scrum half here. We've got the tackle guys here, a bodyguard and a guard. And then we've got a fly half, a centre who obviously loves going to the gym, and a winger out on the outside. So, Freddie, what, what are the triggers? What are you looking for when you're trying to isolate someone? Uh, so first things first is I need to be in motion myself as a fly half. So I need the ball from the nine. I need to be in motion. My aim is to probably get outside this guy to throw doubt into the outside defender's hands. So if I'm getting out here, he's got to look at me. If his eyes are on me, you've got to read it and be outside. In which case, there's your hole. <laughs> right, OK. So your triggers are, you're basically not the second man. If you're receiving the ball here, this guy is sort of irrelevant, isn't he? You want him to feel like he's got you, but not got you, and this guy has to step in. Or, alternatively, just let him come at you and give a one-on-one -on -one with this guy. How does that differ? Well, again, if, if I've got the ball, again, I'm in motion. This guy's got to read me, so has he. If I see or feel that he's wide, I'd have had the communication from you that you're yep. coming on an unders line, and I'll just try and square this guy up and put you through that hole. Right, OK. So let's go through that at a bit of pace and see how it looks from up bump behind. You're gonna stick you'll see the difference. One of the key things is, is when you're taking the ball, if you're a runner, I mean, it's easy for us to go through it. We've been, both been Premiership players, me a long time ago in black and white, obviously, but it's all about your hips. So if you're a young player and you're trying to do this in your game on Sunday morning, if you're coming here and your hips are turned in and you're running towards the ball and you want to take an outline, just turn your hips and let the ball slide with you. Jeremy Guskett, that old guy, was one of the best players of all time at doing this. And conversely, if you want that short ball, turn your hips out, you look like you're drifting, turn your hips, and it just automatically squares you up back on that short ball. So we're going to have a little go now. Oh, I've dropped my pen. Um, we're going to have a little go now, uh, a little bit of pace, and we're going to try and isolate Arnold Schwarzenegger in the centre. <laughs> so... <laughs> you ready? Yeah. yeah. Short ball. Oh, oh he, did you see that? He's trying to stitch you up. Good <laughs> Actually there, I made a mistake. I actually went to a gap that wasn't there. You would have thrown that pass to the outside, wouldn't you? Yeah, but the main thing is the communication. If you think you could beat him to that space, you know, you'd like to take your chance against him, I think. Also, uh, so yeah, you, 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 you took your gap, gave me the chat, and, and I fed you through the hole. So scored, under, scored under the post. And as I said, it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. That's what you've got to remember. Watch them, son. They've got some shifting in them. Over to you, son. <laughs>